Hello, I'm Jeanette from the Young Potters and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a minion out of clay. This one's got one eye, this one's got two eyes, they're both so cute. Okay, so what do we need? We need clay, just a small blob, ball, and we need slip, colour slip, dark blue, yellow, white, and black. Uh, we need tools, so just a small society stick is perfect. Uh, paintbrush and water. And then of course, translucent brush on glaze. And here's a close-up of our minions again, that we're going to be making. Okay, so first you're going to take just a small piece of clay and roll it into a ball. Then you're going to stick your thumb or your finger and you're going to mold the clay around your thumb. Okay, now we have our body. We can just straighten up the bottom. And there's his body. Okay, now we've got to give him an eye. So I'm just going to roll, let's give him a nice big eye, roll a little ball, I always tell my kids when you want to add a piece of clay, oh you got to scratch, water, scratch, 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 scratch. A little bit of water. Oh dear. Don't um, don't pour the water all over your work, that won't work. And there's our eye. It's easy to stick your finger inside and really smush it down. Okay. And then also, to make sure the clay is joined nicely, you're just going to smoosh it. It's my word that I like to use. I'm going to use it for two. Blending and mixing the clay together, that it's stuck nicely and it's not going to just pop off. Let's give him the pupil. Take the society stick. And we're going to draw our eye. And a line for goggles. All the way around. Let's give him those goggles. Okay, so now he's got an eye. Now he needs some arms. How are we going to do that? Just take a little piece of clay and roll it into a sausage. Okay. Not too long and thin, or it will be too brittle and break off. So about two centimeters. Okay, again. Scratch, 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 scratch. Scratch, 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 scratch. 
water and stick it down. Now you want to make sure that the clay is really blended together, that it's stuck properly. Go. And the other arm. Again. Scratch, 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 scratch. Scratching. Water. And sometimes if the clay is very wet, you don't actually need to scratch water scratch. But it's a good habit to get into for the little kids. If the clay is a bit dry, it's just going to fall off if you don't. And there's the arms. Okay, now we need to give him a mouth. I think this one's going to be happy, so I'll give him a nice smile, just with the sharp end of the society stick. Hello, I'm a happy minion, and I'm on YouTube. Okay, and for his pants, just a blue line. Let's make it a bit higher. Alright. Hopefully I'm in the frame, yeah. Okay, and I don't always give them feet, but also just two little sausages poking out. Just a little ball of clay. Roll it in your finger. It's very simple. And I'm not scratch watering scratch because the clay is actually very soft. But what you always have to do, you've always got to make sure that the clay is bended together. Okay. And See. Yes. Oh, he's a bit twisted, my one. I think it's from doing a funny angle for the camera. There's our minion. Hello. Now he must just be painted. Okay, now we're going to paint our little minion. Like I said before, I use color slip. This is the only kind of paint you can use on raw clay because it's like a kind of clay itself. The colors look very different before they're fired. So, you'll have to believe me when I say that this really is dark blue. It really is. I'm going to give them some dark blue pants. Um, yellow, obviously, for his body. Oh, I brushed up. The drier the clay, the more evenly the paint will spread on it.
Uh, I missed any pieces here and spots, so there we go. And I'm just about as messy as the kids sometimes. And we've got his shoes and goggles are, and gloves are black. his head and did I get underneath here and his shoes And then white for his eye. Yeah. And you can of course neaten it up afterwards. It's looking a bit messy. Uh, let's make, let's do his mouth again. That's been covered. Let's see. Fingers always getting in the way. Now oh, what's going on? And once it dries a little bit, the second coat will make it extra bright. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's your minion. So when you fire it, before you fire it and it's dry, you're going to cover it with this translucent brush on glaze. Okay, then when you take fire it to 120, this guy is going to be shiny and bright, like this one. Oh, wait, where's this one? Here he is. And he'll look just like that. And that's your minion. <laughs>